In the latest episode of Peacemaker, we were introduced to a gorilla named Charlie, who was seemingly working alongside the butterflies, assisting them from the tech side of things. This gorilla was actually possessed by a butterfly, which was kind of disappointing. You know, we're not getting any hyper-intelligent apes such as Gorilla Grodd or the Ultra Humanite just yet. But Charlie isn't just a random gorilla. He does have a brief history within the pages of DC Comics. Charlie's first and only appearance is in Star Spangled War Stories number 126. Like Charlie from Peacemaker, he escaped the zoo, but instead of being possessed by an alien insect, he joined the Marines. Charlie was part of a circus act meant to entertain the troops, but when his trainer, Sergeant Pinky Donovan, was called from the reserves to go into the field, Charlie was left behind. However, the gorilla stowed away to join his trainer on the field of battle. Upon being discovered, Charlie was thrown into the brig. Donovan was demoted for sneaking Charlie on the boat, even though he didn't do that. Charlie did it under his own volition, and Charlie was forced to wait behind as the Marines stormed the shore. As the troop arrived on the beach, their ship was destroyed and Charlie was thought dead. But he survived and made it to the shore with perfect timing. The Marines were pinned down but Charlie charged in and saved the day, using his acrobatics and enhanced gorilla strength to take down several soldiers on his own. But the commanding officer wasn't impressed, so he demoted Donovan from corporal to private for quote-unquote sneaking Charlie onto the shore, and they continued on into the jungle. Suddenly, Charlie jumped into the trees, which, you know, they thought he was simply doing gorilla things, maybe getting a snack, but it turned out that he had spotted soldiers hiding above and took them down. Charlie continued to carry the mission as he single-handedly dug trenches, took out enemy troops time and time again, but the CO still refused to consider Charlie a true marine. Eventually, they were pinned down again by a large cannon atop a cliff. Charlie charged ahead and stormed the cannon, taking down the enemy forces, winning the day, and planting the United States flag down in triumph. After serving the U.S. Armed Forces again and again over the course of their mission, the commanding officer eventually relented and saw Charlie's value, promoting Charlie to sergeant and offering him a permanent spot within the Marine Corps. While this story is pretty ridiculous and the character is literally so minor that he has one single appearance and never appears again, it was cool to see a deep cut reference from James Gunn. I really do appreciate when these creators go deep into the comics to bring characters to life that we never thought would ever see the light of day. And James Gunn is really the master of that, from taking Polka Dot Man and Peacemaker, making them into household names, to the Guardians of the Galaxy, who really weren't all that popular before his 2014 Marvel Cinematic Universe film. So, I hope James Gunn continues to bring in these deep cut characters and showing people the rich history of DC and Marvel comics. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our Peacemaker coverage, which we will continue week after week. And of course, we will have a review coming on the podcast channel after the series has finished its final episode. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks again for watching everyone, and remember the motto, it's Charlie over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.